Hello, my name is Rob Garner. I'm a computer programming instructor. Today we're going to talk about exceptions. So I've got a um, project here, exceptions demos, and what I'm going to do is add um, a new full, a new program called uh, demo exception dot py and And we're going to make an exception happen. And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to say um, result is equal to 9 divided by 0. Now, obviously, 0 can't be divided into 9. That will create a, uh, a 0 division exception. But uh, let's go ahead and run this. And we can see we get a zero division error, division by zero. So this is actually an exception. And in fact, if we move this up a little bit, let's see if we can see the whole thing. Let me run it again. There we go, we can see the whole thing. When you've seen this error, it usually says traceback, most recent call last. And you notice that it's telling me that it's in this file demo exception.py line one and so that's been useful for debugging for us to figure out where the error is and we see that it gives us the line of code and we see it tells us the type of error zero division error and it tells us a little summary of what's going on a message that says division by zero so this is actually this divi zero division error this is actually the the exception and this is called an unhandled exception which means we we had we we did not handle this exception before at any point in time in our code so the operating system shows us this error or python running on the operating system tell, shows us this error and informs us what went wrong and it stops the program so that's one exception is now there's a lot of different types of exceptions. Uh, this is one. You could also um, do something like this. Five is equal to num one plus, or let's do it this way. Result equals num one plus three. If I run that, let's see if we get an error. We get a name error because num1 is not defined. And so there's many different types of errors. In this case, we didn't define num1 you know, ahead of time. So it, does, it gets to that line of code, doesn't know what to do. If we said num1 is equal to 7, then this code would work. And that would be fine. But if we don't have that line of code, let me run this. We can see, well, at line two, we have a piece of code which isn't working. It's creating a name error. So you can get a variety of types of errors. And this is a list of common ones in, from your book. Um, we have attribution errors, IO errors, index errors, key errors. Uh, all types of errors that can occur. Um, and you'll notice that all of them are named error, except for this one, which is exception. And it turns out that all of these other types inherit from this base exception class. And we'll learn what that means later. But uh, realize that these are kind of in a hierarchy. So um, a zero division error is actually a type of arithmetic error, which is itself um, a type of exception. And so we can catch these exceptions at several different 
uh, uh, levels. So that's basically what an exception is. And um, you can actually look them up online if we say Python, go into the interactive interpreter, say import exceptions, which is the exceptions library. Uh, actually, I don't think we need to do that. So in any case, actually the best place to go look them up is online. So I'm going to search Python exceptions. And you can find um, under here documentation on exceptions. Okay, so that's what an exception is. You've most likely you've seen them as you've been writing code. And now the next thing we're going to learn is how to catch these exceptions so that they don't stop our program. Thank you.